Hello everyone, it's Thomas here, and today we're going to be discussing the basics of printing text in Java. So there's a couple tutorials out there on YouTube that already discuss how to do this, but they're quite frankly unnecessarily complex and show way too many examples, so it can be pretty confusing. So today I'm going to be showing you a really concise version of how to use print and print line in Java to print text into the console. So let's get started. So the easiest way, quite frankly, to print text in Java is to use print line. So to do this, we're going to type in system with a capital S dot out dot print line, two parentheses and end the line with a semicolon. In between those parentheses are our arguments, AKA what we're going to want to print. So you can print a string, which is text. You can print a variable or lots of other things. To print text, we're going to be using a string. So we're just going to add two quotations. And between those quotations, we're going to enter the text we want to print. And then we can simply compile and run our program. And now it prints a new line that says, enter the text we want to print. And as I said, this is a new line, meaning if we were to make the exact duplicate of this, system.out.println, enter the text, we want to print, then we compile and we run. Now it's going to print that on two separate lines. But what if we want to use two separate print statements, but we don't want to print them on a new line? For this, we can simply use print. So when we remove the ln from the system.out.println, we're stuck with system.out.print which doesn't necessarily make a new line like Printland does. To show you what I mean by this, let's compile and execute our code. As you can see, it printed both print statements on the same line. Now, you know how to print a new line with text, and you know how to print different text on the same line. What if you wanna print a variable? For example, let's say we have a variable that's equal to the number 10 you want to print out the number 10. So we'll use system.out.print and we'll type in the number and then we'll use another system.out.print statement. And as I mentioned before, for strings, AKA text, we're going to stick them in between quotes. But what if you want to print a variable like we're printing right now? For that, you don't use quotes. So you'll just type in the variable name. So we have system.out.print and we have the text of the number. And then after that, we have system.out.print var. So before we actually print this, I want you to just guess what this is going to print. Now we're going to compile and run our program and I want you to write in the comments if you're correct. So compile, void, and as you can see, we printed the number 10. So what's happening right here is we have one system.out.print and that's printing the text, the number. On the next system.out.print, we're printing var. And since var represents the number 10, we're gonna be printing out 10. Since we have two system.out.print statements, it's going to print out the number and then 10 on the same line. But what would happen if instead of using system.out.print, we use system.out.println? What this one is gonna do is since we have a system.out.println, it's going to place this on one line and it's going to place 10, which is represented by var on another line. So to test this, let's compile and run our code. As you can see, it prints out the number on one line and on the next line, it prints out 10, which is represented by var. So what do I want you to take away from this video? If you wanna print out a new line with some text, type out system with a capital S dot out dot print line, and put two parentheses and in between those parentheses, put quotations with your text in between them. And don't forget to end the line with a semicolon. If you want to just print text on the same line, type in system dot out dot print. And then in between the parentheses, you're going to put your double quotes and put your text there and end it with a semicolon. So for this, we did not use print len, we use print meaning it's not going to print a new line. And if you want to print out a variable, you're going to do system.out.print or system.out.println, depending on if you want this text on the same line or a new line. And in between the parentheses, 
you're just going to put the variable name and you're not going to put in quotes. All right, you guys, I really do hope this video was helpful to you. If you wanna learn more about Java, I will be making a couple more videos shortly. Uh, let me know if you have any topics you have any questions about and I'll try to cover them. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.